In this video, I'm going to show you how to import save files to PCSX2, the PS2 emulator. We're going to take it from the point where you already have the emulator in the games with you already set up. So if you don't have that already, you can watch my tutorial video. The link will be on the description below. So let's get started. If you're planning on buying on Amazon, please use my affiliate link below in the description. Any product on the website will count and you will be directly supporting the channel. The first thing we're going to need is this program here called MyMC. The link for this page will be on the description of this video. And in here, you're going to scroll down to the bottom and arrive at the download MyMC option and you're going to get whatever it is the latest version of this program. So just click here to download and put this on your emulator folder. And there you go. I have the file here with me and it is likely that your browser is going to tell you that this software might be dangerous or something like that. But don't worry, this is safe. And since this is a zip file, we have to extract this, which you already know what to do here. Right click on this file, select 7-zip or WinRAR, depending on what you have and then click on extract to my MC. Put it in a folder because there's a bunch of files inside. And there you go. We have the folder right here. You can go ahead and delete the original zip file. We're not going to need this anymore. And if you double click on this folder, we have these files and this is the application for the program. But before opening this, we have to do something on the emulator. If you didn't play any games on this emulator at this point, and if you didn't save in game, we have to format the memory card before we can import save files. And there are two ways you can do this. One is just by playing the game and then saving in there, or we can start the BIOS and format the memory card from there. And for that, you're going to click here on system and then select start BIOS. So it will start the emulator like it was in the PS2 when you don't have any games inside. So here, pick up your controller because we're going to have to do a initial configuration here like it was on the PS2. Select your language, the time zone. This one doesn't really matter, so I'm just going to skip forward here. Now, when you get here, select browser to bring up your memory card and then pick memory card port one. And on this screen, select yes to format the memory card. And there you go. That's all we have to do here now. So click on system once again and then select shut down without saving. Now, if you go back to the emulator folder, you're going to see this folder here called memory cards. So double click on that and inside we can see your memory card. Now it is the time to start the MyMC program. So double click on the folder and double click on this application file. It's likely that the program will open the folder where your memory card is going to be. But if it's not, then you just have to navigate to your emulator folder, double click on the memory cards folder, and then double click on the memory card port one to open it up on the program. And because this is a fresh emulator, I don't have any save files here. And that's what we're going to do now. One place where you can get save files is from gamefacts.com. I'll put the link on the description of the video. And you're going to go to the page of the game you're trying to download saves. I'm here on the Gran Turismo 4 and you're going to click on the saves tab and then it's going to bring up the options here. And depending on the game, you can see a bunch of save formats here for the game. But one that I know that it works is the max drive format. So on the screen where it says jump to, you're going to click on this one and you're going to see a option here that says PlayStation 2 max drive. And here it's important for you to notice that the save file has to be from the same region as your game. You can see what region your game is from on the emulator. Right here on the emulator, you can see the US flag. So that means this game is from North America. Or you can also right click the game and then select properties. And on the window that pops up, you can see right here region NTSC US. I have the North American version of GT4, so this is the one that I'm going to click right here. And then it's going to take you to the location on the page with the save files. And there's a bunch of here I can select from, 
So now you're just going to select one of these and then click on this download button. So click on this file to download it and you can place it anywhere on your PC. But on this tutorial, I'm going to download this to the memory card folder of the emulator. Now back on the emulator folder, I'm going to show you my memory cards folder. So you can see that I have the save file for GT4. It's on the .max format. So we're good to go now. Go back to the MyMC program. And you're going to click on this icon here that says import with the arrow pointing to the right. Now you just have to navigate to the folder where your save file is. In my case, it's on the emulator folder inside the memory cards folder. There you go. Now double click on the save file. And just like that, the program will import the save to your memory card. And you're pretty much good to go here now. The save is already imported. Just don't forget to save this window, by the way, because if you try to play the game with this window open, you're going to have some issues on the game. Also, it is important to point out that there are some PS2 games where you can only have one save file at a time on your memory card. Gran Turismo 4 is one of those games. So if I were to import a save file that I got from the Internet and I already have a save file for GT4, I would need to delete this one save file here before importing the new one. And if you want to delete a save file, you just have to click on the file here, select file and click on delete. Or you can do that from the BIOS option on the emulator, just like I showed you before. But if you want to back up your save file so you don't lose it forever, then you're going to highlight the save you want and then click on the icon to the right here where it says export. From here, you can select the location where you want your save file to go. Just click here on the bottom where it says EMS and then change this to the max drive format we've been using all this time. And then just click on the save button and you're done. For games that allow multiple save files, you can just import them on the emulator as normal. For example, I got a couple of save files right here for Def Gen Fight for New York. So what you're going to do here, you're just going to select the files you want and then click on open and the program will import them right here. So now you can go in game and select the save file you want to play as normal. Pretty straightforward, right? I have many more emulation tutorial videos like this on the channel. So if you like what you saw, don't forget to check out my other stuff, subscribe to the channel and also leave a like on this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.